Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. Two man ship this week. Jose is with me. How are you, Jose? I thought you said something else. Two man something else instead of shift. Honestly, I'm, I'm great. Thank you, Lee. Two man poop. How are you? How are you? <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, Joe. I'm good. But more importantly, how are you? Has anything exciting happened to you today that you want to share with oh, the you're nation? Oh, trying to draw me on what I've told you, and I, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm celebrating today actually, because I know I've told you all about my tennis and uh, my first time in the league, and um, I, I, there were two leagues. There's one league that's the, the you know, League One, League Two. I was in League Two because I was just, just started playing competitively again. Well, not never played competitively. Really. I played at school, um, but yeah, I'm literally uh, I won the league, won the league first time. Fantastic news! I'm so chuffed for um, you, Joe. Really happy with that. Yeah, so really from going fantastic. into, I'm going to try a bit of tennis. You've uh, you've owned that and then some. Yeah, yeah, I do try though. I do practice a lot. I do do put I put in the work, right? Because I, I want to. I want to win. I don't go in wanting to lose. I want to win, but I do lose. But I learn. Um, and Lee already knows because I do. Um, actually, I do record me playing tennis, so I try and learn from that. So you know, Lee. You know, Lee's actually got a YouTube channel. So you probably see some of the videos. But uh, yeah, I, I do record my tennis matches. Some of them, so I can learn and and. Like the coaching, right? Developing, trying to be 100%. better, just trying to make these little tweaks. It's yeah. great stuff, Joe. Great news. Joe's had a Guinness. I am, I won't lie, drinking a beer as well. So we will Ooh, be jolly what beer today. You, my, what my, beer have you got? Have a guess. It's my my favourite brand. Oh, God. Now you're testing me. I don't... Um... Oh, it's not. It's a favourite brand. Not necessarily my favourite brand. Uh, is it a, actually a beer? It's, oh, hang on. oh, you can't I see it from my it. virtual background. It's Superbock, the Portuguese I would never beer. have got that. Reminds me I've of my never... uh, Portuguese holiday a few years ago. Oh, how awesome. I love that. I love that story. It's very I love nice. that story. I enjoy it. It's a good evening beer. Right. Oh, anyway. Go on. Yeah. I'm rambling. And for those, again, join us live, YouTube, TikTok, etc. You know where to find us. Hit subscribe. We'll tell you when you're live. And as a bonus, today there will be, for a peek behind the curtain, two lives. Obviously, if you're listening audio, this was probably a while ago, but two lives right now. If you are listening audio... TikTok and YouTube, subscribe. You can get on with the lives wherever you are in our timeline. I'm going to do a subject. Joe's going to do a subject. On the next show, we'll kind of pretend it's the next week. But we didn't decide who's going to go first, Joe. So who is going first? Oh, I'll go first if you like. Okay. So, <clears throat> Joe is up with a subject for this week with that little hidden <laughs> bit of production stuff there. So, what have you got the... for us, Mr. Noyer? It's a little bit off the hoof, actually. But now... I, I, I'm really struggling, not struggling with it, but this is obviously a, 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 a subject that's close to my heart at the minute. So I'm looking at this book. So my, my thing at the minute is, is just um, going to be sort of, um, I'm going to be doing sort of serialization of books. So I think it's quite nice to do these things. Uh, so there's a book I've got here, which is The Five Top Regrets of the Dying, now by Bronnie Ware. Now, I, now I've read this, most of it. Um, I haven't completed it all because it's quite a hard read because, as you all know, um, mum passed away last year. Um, so we're getting on to year two, but I'm starting to accept it. Um, and one of the things I'm really passionate about is us, you know, this happened so quickly. Um, and I have my having conversations with my sister and it's brought us close together. We're recognizing that we're all in the last third of our lives. Right. So Ray Dalio talks in his, in his, in his, in his great, um, book principles and also he's got an app called principles where he talks about the third so you get your first third when you're sort of growing and then you've got the middle third up to your 40s and 40s 50s into your last third of your life so you've got not probably 30 years left or something like that if you get a good life right um and so we're in the last sort of phase of our life and this this phase is meant to be one of the happiest of your life um no it's not for everybody but it's for most people potentially I and mean, i know my mum definitely had you know the latter years she did have a great life um, she really enjoyed it. And of course, there's exceptions to that rule. Um, but I'd like to just share some of this because I think it's really important that we take these lessons and we apply them. So I'm just going to just read the first one. Um, and I'm just going to read it because I've, I don't need to really read the book. Um, so I'm just going to read what the first regret okay. is written in this book. And the first regret it says here, and we can talk about this. It says, I wish I'd had the courage to live life, to, sorry, to live a life true to myself. I'll repeat that. I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself. And that's regret one. Um, now, for me, um, when I was younger, um, I didn't do this. Now, Lee already knows. I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into Lee talks about the brand and Jose Noy Inspiration Nation. And I'm probably, I don't know when I changed it. Um, 
but I chat one probably two, three, maybe two or three years ago, I think, maybe now. I don't know. Or was it recently? Even more recent. That might be recent. I don't know. But I wanted to change it to Jose Noya. I think it was obviously tied to weird concept. I think it was. I think it was even more recently than that, actually, Joe, that you did that change. So it might have been around mum's, you know, mum's passing. But I, but when I was younger, I never really wanted to stand out. I wanted to blend in. And of course, back in the 80s, when I was growing up, you know, I, I, I was Spanish. Well, my dad was Spanish, so that was, you know, back then we weren't so culturally aware, let's say. So when I said things like, name was Jose, people used to think, oh, it's Josie and joked about. And, and so I didn't want to stand out. So I just said, well, just call me Joe, because it's easier, right? It's easier. It's more English. Um, so I didn't want to stand out. I didn't want to be different. Um, and, and I really wasn't living my life. So I, I was quite good at football. I was quite good at sports. Um, and people would say, yeah, you're doing really well. Um, but then I had friends that would say, oh, you know, but the thing is, when you start to get good at something, you start to get targeted, um, i.e., you know, people say, you know, you're not as good or, you know, you you get under the spotlight, essentially. And I couldn't cope with that. So on times, I purposely didn't play well. So I wouldn't stand out, which is really weird when I think about it now. And and it's really funny because I was having a conversation with my um, with my sister about this. And, and it was round about the people that I surrounded myself with, you know, and, you know, some of the people weren't very good for me. And, and so, you know, they'd, they'd take away my confidence. And so I would just shrink and I'd want to not stand out at all. And so I wasn't, as they say, shining my light on the things. And so I would draw back. I didn't want to stand out. I wouldn't be very quiet in a classroom. I didn't want to make any waves. And that is what I, this is what I took away from recently my mum passing away and reading this book. Because I got this book after that. So for me... Right now, you know, even when I started this Juju channel over 10 years ago, um, that was the start, I think, of me starting to be who I was. And only, obviously, the last four years when we sort of started the podcast and I've you know, done the work, uh, self-development work through Stephen Covey's Seven Habits, we talked about. Talked about this book before, haven't we? Absolutely, like, we have. We realized that. So I've done a lot of work with that. And I worked through Evan Carmichael's book, uh, Built to Serve, and what your one word and speaking to Mark Drager and, and people like that. And it's only then I really noticed, and obviously through my leadership stuff that we talk about Lee and, you know, use on my team and we talk about that. So I realized there's a pattern of me wanting to help people. But to help people, I needed to be myself. And there was one time when I wanted to say, like, I want to be a coach, I want to be a coach. Could I be a coach? And you always got to make a decision. So it's almost like a decision I made. I made a decision, oh, I'm going to be a coach. So if you are going to be a coach, then you've got to have the identity of being a coach. And that means you've got to start acting like a coach be the coach you know do the learning do the work and so i started to do that but the thing is when you do that you start to stand out you start to be a target you start to have to deal with criticism with challenges to your thought process and i think that's healthy but there's also the other sides which aren't so healthy that people might start to you know be challenging to you but not in a very nice way and lee knows what i'm talking talking about where i've tried these things before and but through that challenge and being very very um, challenged and I got a lot I you know, struggled emotionally with it but through all that by, by holding on to coaching by holding true to values I decided I am going to be a coach I'm going to live my life to what I am and through all that work I've now discovered that that is what I want to do and this is why the last four years I've been on social media I've been on YouTube I'm now talking from my heart and not being apologetic and if you don't like it you don't have to watch if you don't like it you don't have to listen but i'm going to be unapologetic for me wanting to help people because i want people to discover the power of coaching and what this 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 whole thing is about inspiring people to get to the next next, next level all within the a capability thing so you don't have to pay tons of money right because tons of coaching calls are loads and loads of money we don't want any of that we want people to have real good access to really good information learn from experiences that we have here pass on those experiences and have that coaching mindset and now up to this point it's happening things are starting to happen youtube's growing i'm working in my current place of work that's working things are taking traction now i don't know where it's going to go but all i know is that i'm much more stepping into that i'm not going to look back and go i wish i had done that and that's what this is about so that for me is it so on right now i'm being unapologetic for me and i'm, and I'm delve ridding myself of all the you know all the stuff that i had as a child as not to stand out because when you want to do, when you believe in something so strongly, you do have to step into the arena 
Absolutely. And you have to be able to face the criticism. And that's the thing that I find quite hard still, but I'm facing it. I'm prepared for people to challenge me and we just take it from there. So that's where I sit with it at the minute. And I want everybody here that's listening on TikTok and listening to the podcast, step into who you are. As long as you're doing good for the world, helping other people, that is the best, I think, one of the best places you can ever be. So that, Lee, 100%, I don't know if you've picked anything out of that, Lee, but 100%. Anyway, any thoughts? Gordo's Games on uh, YouTube, by the way, says, yes, you can be a coach. Support Wonderful. For you there, I love Jose. that. Support for you. Yeah. And just to say, my timing's off. Again, strange concept. So actually, I'm going to say it's about three years from the Jose, the Joe to Jose switch, because we made a hoodie for you with Jose Neuer in the back of it. And that was either just before or just after all the COVID stuff kicked off. So we're looking about three years ago, give or take yeah. for that, Mr. Neuer. I thought it might have been, yeah. I saw it three or four years, I thought I had a thought yeah. about it. Yeah, go on, carry on, Lee. Sorry, go on. So I think that is the right sort of timeline. No, it's good thoughts with that. And like you said, I know the, the stuff you've been through that and being true to yourself. And it's just, it kind of fits with the three stages of life that like you talked about. Is I think it isn't until later on that you start to build up that comfort and that confidence and that courage to step into that place and be all right if you are lean into the things that are meaningful to you rather than just certainly from my experience fitting in with the herd what's up lee what you what are you seeing are you yeah seeing see, I'm, I'm terrible at my screen's all the way over here so I, can, I can see you doing this whole thing <laughs> so friendly comments from you from lewis from work um lewis. it's good to see the passion come on thank you so much i appreciate you that's it thanks for thanks for watching hundred percent amazing i love it. this is what it's about this is what this is about step into who you are be unapologetic so long as you're doing good in the world that's the key you're helping people helping people move on helping people it's just the best thing we're all huma humans we want to help each other right um and this is what this is about this is what gives me the most joy um by doing this and helping others and uh oh it's just so good to get the youtube comment i love this because this is the, <laughs> this is the first time i've really felt a lot of interaction right i love it i love it so I can't see that, by the way, but um, I love it. Fantastic stuff. I can Thanks, sure it's, it's there. That's why I'm squinting off to the side of my screen there, Joe. I am not, <laughs> not paying attention to you. No, no, same now. Same. It's, I think there was a lot, I've talked about this on other podcasts, a lot me where it was almost like this urge to fit in. Like everyone else knew what was the right thing to wear and where to go and the cool things to do. And sometimes I was on the outside looking in and I just needed to find out that secret formula that everyone else knew. And then you suddenly realise that, or you gradually realise that there is no such thing and you're most comfortable when you're doing what, what's true to you, what you like, what you lean into, what you want to do professionally, personally, people you want to associate with. All of that stuff is finding that identity, which I do yeah. think does come in those later, or for a lot of people, I would say, comes in those later stages, not for everyone. Yeah, and I wish I'd discovered it earlier, though. You know, yeah, I agree, thing, you know, 100%. I wish I, could have, I wish I could have that mindset and I was 18, but then, you know, maybe that's the learning right we, that's the learning we, we have to go for that learning phase the thing is um, if, uh, if at then, 18 go though, if at 18 so when you're 18 back in 1937 or whatever it was yeah yeah that's um, the one. and someone comes up to you and they try and impart their wisdom of don't try and fit with a crowd be jose don't be joe don't worry about what they say be your best in football don't worry about standing out would you have taken it on board no that's that's the now, irony of all of this, I think. There is a, there is an interesting thing though. If I've been coached in the way we talk about coaching, and and would I've been open minded? I don't know. I don't know whether I'd still be open minded. I maybe I had to go through the depression, all that stuff, to, to become this person. Maybe that is the, the the dots looking backwards, right? We talk about Steve Jobs and what he said about looking down the mountain or looking connecting the dots backwards. It wasn't. I think that's what he said. But I think I discovered coaching back then, and someone had spoken to me, not in a way in part like telling me what to do, but maybe talking to me about what's the challenge right now like in a way that would speak to me as an 18 year old right because yeah. you know because you'd speak to you'd have to speak to me in a different way that i would the way i was speaking now i'd have to speak to myself in a different way than i was speaking now because i'd probably still feel struggle with it because i'd be feeling really quite fearful of stepping into those things so i'd need to be it'd be very gradual it'd be a very quite a long process but if i could get that mindset it would have been i think an absolute game changer but i do think some would discover it a lot earlier but yeah, I would, the, two, well, the thing is, if, if I had discovered it earlier, the, the thing is, would I be the person I am now? Probably not. I'd maybe I'd be t in a totally different place, potentially. So, I mean, you know, I played, I played bass guitar. So would I, if I, if I start, if I'd just gone with what I loved, maybe I wouldn't be here. I'd be pl playing a band somewhere, doing whatever, right? That's the irony of it. This is the whole crux of it. However, we are here now. 
we've got to do good things and i'm you know i'm really really happy right now i'm really happy um and i just again reiterate that comment about you know don't you know do be who you are who be who you are and if you need support you know come over to this podcast and just listen and interact with the show um you know and lee you know i've got to say to you lee i want to say thank you for all the support you've given me because I know you facilitate a lot of this when I was, you know, when I used to work with, when I work with you, and you know where I'm, I'm talking about, you know, you really helped a lot of those things, you know, the action steps. And that's what I needed really. I needed that sort of just, I think someone, I think so, I needed someone, I needed someone to believe in what I believed. Because it was really rare to find that. It was really rare to find it, but you actually believed in it. And that for me, and that helped me believe in more. And then obviously doing the videos and the traction we're getting now, it's just adding to that belief system, right? Um, but I just want to say thank you for Lee for all the support and, and the continued support because you help build the podcast, right? And you're still doing it. You don't have to, but you're still doing it. Um, and this for me is a brilliant thing. I want to like, I want to gather good people like yourself, like, like you are a significant figure in my life for doing this and getting this out there and doing these things and like you're doing this thing with the streaming and you know we've come up with these ideas and stuff like that I and mean, you're really supportive you're like let's have it go at it let's try it i know you said you're the optimist and i love that and i think that's what i connect to right because you'll just give it a go let's see what happens all we can do is try right um but this stuff actually works and this has all led to this thing me do stuff at my workplace doing this really sort of tapping into that and it's a real honestly it just gathers momentum it just just persists and it's not always going to be easy but just consistently doing it just just builds that momentum and just just do it just continue it won't always work you'll fail a lot which i have i've cried i've laughed i felt really sad but ultimately i've just kept moving forward very slowly but it just keeps going just keep going sorry Lee, could, do you only got anything to add to that i know i've gone a bit there you've laughed you've cried you've sung a little song sometimes which is always disturbing yeah i love a, I love a little song you know me but happy birthday and all that malarkey when you get embarrassed oh, i'm not singing that <laughs> that's our point it is the point it is the point um thank you for that joe it's been a pleasure by the way with all of this and i didn't even think of it back to the work stuff because that all yeah. that we did then which was new to me set i think set me off on the path to where i am now i still use well, the number think of about that. today yeah i'm talking really back in a day where you yeah, were yeah. sort of on the team and you believed in it and and you supported it and you said let's have a go at this and you were, and i remember you say it comes to me so i couldn't sleep last night. i remember this really you said when i sort of launched this idea you went I couldn't sleep last night. It was like, you said that to me. I thought, this has got something going on here. And that was a start, right? But ever since then, we've had that, like you said, I think you said in the previous podcast, actually, because I, 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 I wasn't in the previous one with Ryan, you were saying about, this had been an on and off thing, but we've always had that connection, yes. that, almost like that thread you talked about, um, which we just, we just those sort of people that believe in that sort of thing. And I think it's lovely. And I want to give a shout out to Ryan as well, because Ryan's really helped because when Ryan's here, he's helped. He's, he's continued to, be on this podcast, support the message. And again, you know, it's what it makes it what it is, right? So uh, massive. Yeah. So Am this I. is it. Look at the, this is the, and I feel it so, it's the energy and the happiness, I suppose, from leaning into that, doing what you want to do, being comfortable with yourself, giving things a go. Believe this, it's, I don't know if it's the one I'll do later today or if it's one we'll do next week. So people will probably hear it in three or four weeks time. But there's a lot of similarities in some of the stuff you're saying there with a couple of ideas I've got in my head as well. And it's some of the symmetry between some of the things we're doing is just uncanny sometimes. But obviously we'll get to that in, well, one of them in a little while for those that are sticking about and one in a few weeks time. A couple more comments from um, YouTube. Who is again here? He said, never reflect on the past, strive for the future. All the all the steps you took put you both in the position you are now thank you for that and secondly he said uh there's there is space for regrets but overall we value the steps taken to walk down the path and we choose to thrive in the present and look to the future i think that's a great message there very wise words thank you so much and again thank you to everybody supporting the message thank you to you on tiktok as well and on youtube because it doesn't grow we can't do this on our own and i always say that it needs people to do this um and we, you can never do everything when you need people. So thank you so much. Just keep sharing, liking. Let's have the likes up because we need likes, 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 likes. Encourage the so TikTok. Come on, get your likes up. Let's go. And also on YouTube, just like that. Press that like button. Anyway, I'm, don't, I'm taking away from you, Lee. You might want to do this stuff. I, I'm, I'm taking you're that step, away. You're stepping into the shilling. This is what I bring to the party. <laughs> and you're taking I just, it I just wanted to press, get some more likes <laughs> on the board. <laughs> All about the likes. Hold on. I'll throw a little few for you on the 
on TikTok. Get the ball rolling. Oh, well done. It's they like, don't. It's Come like on. In a, if you worked in like a cafe or something, can you put a tip jar out? You put a few coins in to start the ball rolling. So I'm just putting a few coins in to start oh, the lights thanks. going. God, you did actually quite a few. 36 likes. That's there quite a lot, Lee. So, right, you must have really gone good, hammering that good button. Good fun. See, <laughs> Fortnite has been training me with all this quick fun <laughs> action. I love it, Lee. I love it, Lee. I That's what it. it's all about. Right, we do, as Joe said, we thank everyone supporting us. We are four years plus into our journey now. If you like what we're doing, whatever you are viewing or listening to us on, hit subscribe, hit the review button, hit the five star button. All of that really helps. Tell friends, tell family, get people involved in what we're doing. Support us on show social, social, social media. Um, <laughs> the show is at listen to I N, listen T O I N. And of course, you just put Jose Neuer, Inspiration Nation, into your Google machine. And if there is a platform he is not on, it is not worth being on. He is on YouTube, he's on Facebook, he's on Twitter, he's on MySpace, he's on Bebo, he's on Friends Reunited. <laughs> Jose Neuer is everywhere. I was on, um, what was it, Vine that got scrapped once. I was on Vine for a I bit. I missed Vine, I wasn't it was like the for Vine. It was like TikTok, wasn't it? He's probably, uh, you've anyway. probably got like a GeoCities site somewhere, haven't you? GeoCities slash Jose Neuer slash Inspiration Nation. There's probably them? something going on. I don't know what you're oh. talking about, but I'm on board with it. Someone out there might. Humour me. It's old humour okay. now. Um, and I of course, it. inspirationnation.org.uk is our website. <clears throat> Archive of everything we've ever done is there. Um, sign up for Joe's newsletter, Jose's newsletter, should I say. And there is the Inspiration Nation merchandise store for all your merchandising needs. I'm leaning down to get my mug, not very discreetly. My nostrils are probably on the camera now. Here we go. Get yours, inspirationnation.org.uk. It's a bit 2021 20, now, but we still have face masks over there as well, so you can get yours Ooh. too. I think I've actually got mine. Still. Although mine's... I still carry mine around because isn't there still a thing? Or oh, maybe not. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. But we thank everyone. We appreciate the support. It was, it's what helps us do what we do. There we go. Joe's putting it up on the screen. Um, all I do is count us down in a minute. We'll be back again next week. Um, and again, if you are with us live on either TikTok or YouTube, Bear with us for like five minutes and we will be back for an advanced recording for next week's show as well. Oh, look at that. Get a double bonus tonight, guys. What Love more that. could you want? We'll count down. Three, two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you Catch guys you later. Guys later let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation i'd love to know put it in the comments below and i'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment i make to you in this community also don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free and also don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell then you're going to know when another videos go live and don't forget to check out these videos right here now next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out i really really appreciate it and lastly don't forget out to check the newsletter the link is in the description below that's where i can talk directly to you without through the youtube throughout the social because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with inspiration nation ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next so i'd love to see you in the next video so please click on those links please follow through please Let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks, TikTok. Catch you in five. Catch you in five. We're back. <laughs>